I realized I hadn't actually done a video on winter camping in the Rogue, which is the primary reason why we bought it. So to cut to the chase, you definitely can do it, um, but it certainly isn't as nice as some other purpose-built four-season truck campers. The main weakness with it is that it just does not have much insulation. That means that you have condensation forming on pretty much every surface and then freezing, which means in the morning you have a lot to clean up and it also can even get into the structure. But you certainly can do it um, and we have done it and it's been pretty good. But here are a couple mods that made our life easier while winter camping. Battery um, charger right here, it isn't on right now, but it's really useful because it charges the batteries and cold compensates and basically it hooks in um, to an AC. So I'm not just running the converter um, and sucking a lot of juice. So I can just leave it plugged in at home and know that the batteries are taken care of because I wasn't really getting a full charge out of them, especially because they need more voltage when it's really cold. So that's the first thing. <laughs> um, back here, just got back from a ski. So yeah, I mean, it's dirty as all get up. Um, I did actually have to replace the jacks again. <laughs> Um, they've been quite problematic. Uh, even with these new boots on, they still get water in them. So I actually wound up just drilling holes in the bottom and that seems to work. Uh, in desperation, sometimes they've locked up with water. So I've had to take these little things off right here um, and take the jack off and warm it up for a little bit, but that's pretty rare. A couple of winter things I've done um, is First off, I have a water hog doormat because um, man, it gets real, real wet and nasty um, when you're coming in from an outdoor adventure. Let in a little bit of light. You can see there is a bit of condensation. This is the worst part when it's really cold. The condensation really builds up. It also builds up in the ceiling too. Um, it will actually drip down the skylight. So you have to be careful about that. But when it's above freezing like it is now, um, it's pretty good. I'd say the biggest improvement for winter stuff has been using the dromedary. I mean, this thing is key. Like you really are able to, you know, have water. I don't have to worry about the sink, but the cool thing is turn it on, it goes right in the sink, which is so useful. Um, but yeah, I'm able to, I don't leave the heat on. Um, I just have a nice warm sleeping bag. So you can see I also have an extra sleeping bag and then another blanket back there. So I have yet to get too cold, um, even on zero degree nights. But again, condensation is the main issue. When it's really cold, I'll just sleep down here um, just to stay warmer and keep the top down and save the hassle. But now that it's getting warmer, I've started to sleep up top again. And it sure is nice. <laughs> Um, I'd say last on the sort of list of improvements is I put in an MPPT solar charger. So, or excuse me, uh, solar converter. So basically the old one that came with it was a PWM, um, that pulse width modulation that isn't as efficient. This is MPPT and it cranks. I mean, after a night, my batteries are still at 12.8 volts. Definitely weren't that before. I was able to fully charge my batteries yesterday while using the monitor. Um, so yeah, working really well. So I'd say, you know, overall it's still working. Would I like something that was, you know, fully insulated and <laughs> really <laughs> like had all the, the bells and whistles? Sure, but I, I really like the layout of this and the cost honestly is pretty good. And it just has a bunch of things that others don't. I mean, I really like the bed, the north-south bed. Um, love the kitchen arrangement with this counter space. Um, and when the roof works, it's pretty nice. So I guess those are some uh, winter camping thoughts on the Rogue. And uh, yeah, it's been a good ski and I got to get back to work.